number eight, show that the order of addition of three vectors does not affect their sum. Show this property by choosing any three vectors, all having different lengths and directions. Okay, so uh, let's just make three vectors up. All right, so let's say vector one will have a magnitude of 10 meters. Doesn't even matter what the units are. And let's just use, let's do this unit less, okay? So it has a value of 10, and it is at, let's say, 20 degrees north of east. Let's say vector two, let me, let me change the color here. Let's say vector two is, I don't know, 20 uh, units at, um, I don't know, 15 degrees, let's say south of um, west. And then vector three would be 15 units at, I don't know, 10 degrees, you got north of east, south of west, let's say uh, east of south. Okay, so the first thing would be to uh, draw the vectors, all right? Think of them as individual pieces. The whole goal is what we want to do is we want to find the components of each of these. And by components, I mean the X and Y components of each, okay? and then plug them into our component table, all right, which will involve the X's and the Y's. And then we're gonna sum them together, okay? So um, let's just backtrack. I'm just gonna erase this just so it, it's a little neater, okay? All right, so let's first work with uh, vector one. So V1, just draw a simple coordinate axis. So here we have this the y and the x. Now it says that vector one is 10 units at 20 degrees north of east. So where's east? Here it is, right? Being north would mean above it. Now if I were to draw the vector, it would look something like that. This looks about accurate. This would be 20 degrees, and that is north of east. And the vector itself has a magnitude of 10. Wonderful. Now. How do we find the components of this vector? Well, what's the x component? Start at the um, origin and go out to here. This would represent the x. And then the y component would just be now the vertical distance to the, to the end of the resultant, and that's the y. They're both positive, right? Okay, so now how do I find this x component? Well, you know the hypotenuse, you know the angle, and this side represents the adjacent side to that angle. So it sounds like we're going to be using the trigonometric function of cosine. So cosine of 20 will eat, well, let me do it general first. Cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. The cosine of 20 will equal the x value over 10. So now to find the x component here of vector one, simply just take cosine of 20, so cosine of 20 times 10. Two sig figs, so it's gonna be 9.4 units, whatever the units are. Okay, and let's now do the y component. So again, to find this y component, we know the hypotenuse, we know the angle, and the y component is the opposite side. So we would be using sine. So sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So the sine of 20 will equal y over 10. So y will equal the product, right? So sine of 20 between sine of 20 and 10. So sine of 20 times 10 will be 3.4. And they're both positive numbers. Okay, so that's great. Now let me start my component table. I'm gonna write it on the upper right. So we have our component table, x, y, and I'm gonna write v1 here, and I'm gonna write its components. We said that the x component of v1 was 9.4, and the y component was 3.4. Wonderful. Let's now take a look at our <clears throat> uh, V2 now, our second vector. Okay, so draw, uh, let's draw an axis. So we have now, 
So this is for V2. Let's draw it right here. So we have an, a Y axis, an X axis, and now it says that the vector is at 15 degrees south of west. So here's west, south is in the bottom direction. So we have to go 15 degrees below west, which would be about something like this maybe. That looks fairly reasonable. So here, this angle in here would represent the 15 degrees. And the magnitude of that, or the length of the line, would be 20 units. Okay, so what does the... Um, what does the... Uh, X and Y components look like here. So this would be the X component. Start back at the origin, and now the X component looks like it's in the negative direction. And now how about the Y component here? The Y component, let me just change the color. Oops. The Y component here will be now in the negative Y direction, right? To the end of that resultant vector. Okay, wonderful. So let's first work with solving for the X component. What do we know about the triangle? We know the hypotenuse, we know the angle, and the x side now is the side adjacent to the angle. So we're gonna be using cosine. So let's write that down. So cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine of 15 will equal um, negative x over 20. Negative x will equal, so cosine of 15 times 20. 19, I'll well, we'll just do 19. So then x would be equal to negative 19. And that's what it should be. Now let's do the same thing for our y component here. Remember, we know the hypotenuse, we know the angle, and we're looking for the side opposite that angle. So, oops, backtrack too far. So what does that mean we need to use? It means we need to use sine. So sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of 15 is equal to the opposite side, which is the negative y value, over 20. So negative y will equal, type in the sine of 15, oops, sine of 15 multiplied by 20. So this comes out to be 5.2. Then y would equal negative 5.2. Okay, great. So these are my X and Y components for vector two. So let's go back up to the table, vector two, let's plug in the numbers. The X component was negative 19, and the Y component was negative 5.2. Okay, wonderful. Last but not least, let's do vector three now. Okay, so let's create a new set of axes, do it in the bottom right. So let's draw there and there. And now it says that this vector is 10 degrees east of south. So, east of south. So where's south? Here's south, here's east. So it's gonna be 10 degrees south of east. Okay, great, so let's draw the line. So the line, the vector, should be somewhere around here. Right, something like that. Don't mind the little crooked end. Ah, oh, there it looks like an arrow now. So this angle here represents 10 degrees. The magnitude or the length of the vector is 15. So now, what do my components look like? Well, what does the X component look like? Or the first, in this case, we would actually probably start with the Y component, okay? Because I wanna try to create, basically, I wanna try to create a triangle that involves that angle, okay? So let's start in the Y direction first. So we start from the origin and we go down, great that would represent the negative y component. And then, now, the x component will be the horizontal distance. And notice that's in the positive x direction, so therefore it's gonna be a positive x. Okay, so, which one do you wanna solve for first? Let's choose the y, it doesn't really matter. But in order to solve for y, remember we know the hypotenuse, we know the angle, and this side is considered the adjacent side to the angle. So we're gonna be using cosine. So cosine of theta, is adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine of 10 will equal negative y over 15. So negative y will equal, plug it in, cosine of 10 times 15, round to two sig figs is 15, so then y will equal negative 15. Okay, good, so that's our y component. 
and let's now calculate the x. Again, to figure out x here, we know the hypotenuse, we know the angle, and we're looking for the side opposite of the angle. Therefore, we're going to be using sine. So sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of 10 is equal to x, because it's positive, over 15. So simply just plug that into the calculator. Take, oops, take sine of 10, and then multiply it by 15. So we get 2.6. 2.6. So that's my x value. Great. Now let's take those values and plug them in to our component table. So for, for, so for the third vector, we have an x component of positive 2.6 and a y component of negative 15. OK, great. Now, if I were to sum these all up, OK, if I were to add these all up, meaning all the x's together and all the y's together, that will give us the resultant vector's components, always. Okay, so let's sum up the x's. So 9.4 plus negative, negative 19 plus 2.6 comes out to negative 7. Interesting, I didn't think it would come out to a whole number. But just so happened to work out that way. And the y component, 3.4 plus a negative 5.2 plus a negative 15 works out to be 16.8. When we're dealing with sig figs here, technically we would have to drop the tenths place and just round to 17. So let's just make it negative 17. Okay. And these are now the components of my resultant. Okay. So my resultant vector, if I were to draw the actual resultant vector, look to the left, uh, upper left hand side. Let me draw the coordinate system. So here's the coordinate system. And now the resultant vector will have an x value of negative 7. So start at the origin, go out negative 7 units, maybe to about there. This would be negative 7. And then go down 17 units. It would be about there. Okay. So these are the components of it. I can put the negative signs in if I want. And what would the resultant actually look like? Connect the origin to the end. This in gold is the resultant vector. And this would be the angle you would want to solve. Okay, great. Now, to answer the question, let's go back to the component table on the upper right hand side. Guys, what's 2 plus 3? Right, 5. What's 3 plus 2? 5. Now, I could have said that from the beginning, but which would have been true, but it's a little confusing to kind of apply that to vectors. Okay? But if you notice here on the table, it doesn't matter if I add vector 1 to vector 2 to vector 3. Right, taking 9.4, adding it to negative 19, and then adding it to 2.6 would be the exact same as taking 2.6, adding it to negative 19, and then adding it to 9.4. It doesn't matter. So what seems hard in the question is really easy in, in, in practice, okay? And the reason why it's so easy is because when we do this thing called the component table, we can clearly see how they add together. The components add together. So obviously, 2 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2. So it doesn't matter the order, all right? So hope this helped, guys. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.